This week on The Produce Nerd, we're going to take you behind the scenes of a date growing, harvesting, and packing operation. And this growing operation is located in Southern California's Coachella Valley. And if you drive around down there, there are date orchards everywhere. So it's so exciting to get to share this and to show you the progression as the dates grow. So as you'll see here, the dates start off as just these little green beads looking things. And then as they grow, they get bagged to prevent from birds and insects and to keep the dates on the tree instead of falling from the ground because once the dates fall to the ground, they're done. So for other crops that are dried on the ground or anything like that, that doesn't happen with dates. Once they hit the ground, they don't go to the market. So they have the traditional type of dates, like the medjool dates that you're probably used to that they put in the bags. And then they have these other dates which are featured today, the yellow barky dates, and they do not get put into bags. They're covered with brown paper, not with a bag, because these dates don't ripen on the tree, so they don't have to worry about the dates falling to the ground. And also it helps prevent dust, which is one of the main issues with the spider mites. Brown paper around there helps prevent dust, which therefore helps prevent spider mites. What you'll also notice in this orchard is that this orchard is an organic orchard, which is very common in dates, but there is a large amount of greenery in the orchard as well. So you have grass, you have uh, weeds, and at this specific operation, Coachella's Best Dates, they use sheep to come in and help with the weed management. This is the view from a date harvest. So when they're harvesting dates, as you can see, these date palm trees are huge. And the, the older they are, the larger they grow. And so they require a reach lift in order to harvest. So in this case, there is one person that is driving and there's one person that's on the reach lift to go up and check the dates to see which ones are ready for harvest and to harvest them. And the absolute coolest part about this harvest is that I got to go up on the reach lift too to get some footage and oh my gosh, can you tell that I love my job? This is so much fun, it's so exciting. I'm so thankful I got to go up there and I got to get even better footage to show you guys. So as you can see here, the reach lift kind of just approaches the tree on the sides and then it lifts up until the harvester is able to reach the dates to see that they are what the quality is like and if they're ready for harvest. With the yellow barhi dates, they are harvested unripe, which is also known as semi-ripe. So they need to be yellow firm. And as the barhi dates continue to ripen, they turn brown and they start to soften. So the harvesters need to make sure that the dates are still yellow and firm and of good quality. And if they've already started to turn brown or to start to soften, then they just skip those and let those go to the ripened market. So as you can see here, he has decided that this is a good cluster of dates that are ready to be harvested. So he removes the brown paper, grabs his machete, and will harvest this just like, he makes it look like it's nothing, but this is a 45 pound cluster of dates. After that, then he will go on and keep checking until they reach the amount that they need for the orders. And then they will have those all around the reach lift and take them back into the sorting and packing station. When the dates are removed from the reach lift, they are laid out on a tarp on the orchard floor. And then as the workers move through the cleaning and sorting and packing process, they go through and they grab new bunches to work through. So as you can see, there's a variety of quality here. You can see that there's the firm yellow ones. There's a few ones that have started turning brown, but very, very little because they've done that initial inspection before harvesting the clusters. So as you can see, each worker that is at this packing station has their own cluster. And what they're doing is they are essentially dusting them off. So they're cleaning them with the brush. There's no water used here and they're cutting off any dates that have defects or any physical issues. And then they cut the vines 
so that they are the correct length to fit into the box. In this case, they are packing the dates as is without any further washing or anything because that is the customer specification. However, there are other customers that require that each of the yellow barky dates are individualized, that they're individualized or that they are washed individualized. And in that case, they go to the packing house. They can also go to the packing house in this case too, but they go to the packing house in order to be washed and to be individualized and packed that way. Once the boxes have been packed, they are weighed to make sure they meet the customer requirement for the size of the box, and then they are palletized onto a nearby truck. And once this truck gets filled, it will go to the nearby cooler. And for these yellow barhi dates, they have a very short shelf life, so it's essential that they get cooled quickly and that they stay cool in order to last for a longer shelf life. So that can make the difference between a few days to a few weeks. And now we have arrived to the date packing house. So this is for a separate customer who wants the dates individualized. You can see here that the workers are sorting out, quote, bad dates. So the dates that will not go to any markets, they will go on the ground. And then you have additional dates that will go to the primary or secondary market. But in this case, they are sorting out the dates. They're removing them from the plant so that they are all individualized. And then they will get washed. So as you can see here, here are the dates that have been individualized. They go into the cooler because again, there's a very short shelf life for these yellow barhi dates. And just to compare for the other type of dates like the medjool date, they have they can last for up to a year in cold storage, whereas the yellow barhi dates can last up to a couple weeks in cold storage. So here they are spritzed with the sanitized water and this is the washing process. They are washed in these containers in the bins. And then they are placed onto the packing lines where they are dried. So they use towels to dry here. And then you can also see here these things above, those are dryers. So they are drying the dates as they roll by as well. And then the dates move down the packing line where there is an additional sorting step to remove any quality defects or anything that should not be going to that specific market. And then they roll down and they roll under these towels and the purpose of that is essentially like a brush but softer so that they can have uh, more friction and get cleaner and drier and then they move down and they are packed into boxes for the final customer. And once those dates have been packed, they go straight into the cooler to wait for transport to the customer because, again, these yellow barhi dates have a very, very short shelf life. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe to the Produce Nerd YouTube channel for more produce-related content.